Okay, good morning. Welcome to Math Problem slash Kid Math 40. Alright, um, so one of, we've been studying um, divisibility rules yeah. lately, right? And one of your friends told you that there's no divisibility rule for 7, yeah. right? But that's not true. Turns out to not be true. It's just that the divisibility rule for 7 is pretty hard. Yeah. It's like it involves spears. And there's a lot of different ways to think about it. So here's, here's one of the coolest ways I've seen to think about it um, from a from Tanya Kovanova's blog. She's one of the great mathematicians and problem solvers in, in the world. She's actually up at uh, MIT. Um, and uh, so her friend David Wilson showed this to her. So here's the rule. You write down your number in base 10. So give me a number in base 10. Well, let's see. Any number, doesn't matter if it's divisible. 30, 32. 32, okay, so we're gonna check out the number 32. Okay, write down the number in base 10. Start at the start, Yep. okay? For each digit in N, follow D brown arrows in succession. Uh, I didn't write that right. For each digit D in N. So we're first we're going to follow three brown arrows in succession, and then we're going to follow two brown arrows in succession, okay? Mm -hmm. As you move from one digit to the next, follow a purple arrow, one purple arrow. So for 32, we would go, we'll start here, follow three brown arrows. One, sends this to here, two, three. Then we'll follow a purple purple arrow and go back up here. Yep. And then we go two brown arrows. One, two. Oh, not divisible by seven because we didn't end up back at the start. Mm -hmm. Okay? But give me a number that is divisible by seven. Sixty-three. Sixty-three. Okay, so let's let's do this one. Do you want to do it? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Point point to the brown arrows. Follow six brown arrows. So let's go. Start here. One, one two. two. Three, Three, four, four five, five six. six. Now follow the purple arrow. Three purple arrows? Now follow one purple arrow. So then, let's see, one. One, okay, now i got to go three brown arrows. One, two, three. Hey, we ended up back at the start. Cool. Okay? All right, so now let's two, let's look at, use an example of two numbers that we don't know if they're divisible by seven or not. 950. Ooh. And three... Nine, two, seven. Now, do you know if those numbers are divisible by seven? No, no. All right, so let's use our handy dandy chart. You want to do 950? All right. So we follow nine browns. One, two, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're up here. Here, now you have to follow one purple arrow. Okay, now five brown arrows. One, One, two, two three, three, four, four five. five. Now follow a purple arrow. Down. Down. And now we're at zero, so. Not divisible. Not divisible by seven. No. Okay. All right. Now we'll do three, nine, two, seven. Okay. okay. I'll try that. All right. So we, we go three first. One, two, three. And then purple arrow up. Nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Purple arrow down. Two, one, two. Purple arrow. Loop. And then seven, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hey. Hey, that was divisible by that seven. That is divisible by seven. Isn't this cool? Yeah. Yeah. So if you wanted to carry a handy dandy. Um, divisibility rule by seven idea, you would put this picture like in your pocket and then if you were walking down the street and someone asked you if an integer was divisible by seven, yeah. you'd be able to know. You want to bring this picture to your friend and show, show him? Yeah, I think so. All right, awesome. Awesome. Good job this morning, guys. That's, that's fun. It's fun learning about these divisibility rules, I think. Good job.